May 26th, 2052. Morning announcement. Saturday. Air toxicity, 18%. Strong winds all day. Thomas Miller. You have no outstanding obligations today. Automated news report filter set to breaking. Important LAPD public safety announcement. Attention, the LAPD has been tracking increased movement among rogue replicants since yesterday afternoon and is currently investigating the possibility of an attack. The public is cautioned to be on high alert and to stay away from all known replicants. Reminder, if a replicant has gone rogue, it is extremely dangerous and it will not hesitate to wound or kill you. If you suspect someone around you of being a replicant, contact the department with details as soon as possible. The Los Angeles Times Important Update Breaking News a Blade Runner has just retired two replicants in the middle of a busy Los Angeles street. Coming on the heels of the LAPD's caution this morning about a possible attack, this retiring is a positive indication of their progress in stamping out the threat. After three years of increasing the widespread attacks perpetrated by replicants seeking to undermine public safety and the economy, they are close to identifying the ringleaders and hope to find the location where they are hiding. The LAPD assures us that although bo 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 Please pay attention. We've hijacked the broadcast signal to this device, but the quicker this is, the safer we'll both be. I represent the replicant freedom movement, and we've come to believe that you may be sympathetic to our cause. We are not the destabilizing terrorists you have heard about. But we do seek freedom, and we are willing to fight for it. You might be able to help us with that. The so-called terrorist attacks have actually been precision strikes on the Wallace Corporation supply chain to stop the enslavement of any more replicants. And our next target is a fully-fledged Wallace factory. Before we can get inside, we'll need to be able to get past security, and we're desperately short on the resources to do so. We need you to use your skills to decode the security grid. The necessary materials, as well as an important item to our cause, have been dropped off near you as securely as we can manage on short notice. It is extremely important that you complete this task soon. We're all counting on you. Don't expect any further contact. Predict the outcome. More to come as the situation develops. Important LAPD public safety announcement. Attention! A group of rogue replicants have just needlessly slaughtered two of the LAPD's finest officers. Blade Runners are in pursuit, but the public is advised to stay indoors. Repeat, do not go outside. If you have any information about rogue activity, contact the department immediately. The Los Angeles Times Important Update Breaking news. One of Wallace Corporation's factories has been attacked. An unknown number of heavily armed replicants stormed the building late this afternoon and took control of the factory. The police have surrounded the building, but so far no shots have been fired in the tense standoff. No humans remain inside the factory, prompting speculation that an airstrike might be under consideration as a final option to eliminate the terrorists. The LAPD reiterated the importance of staying indoors during this time of crisis and guaranteed that their best officers are working to preempt any further attacks. 
More to come as the situation develops. The Los Angeles Times Important Update Breaking news. After heavy fire met several attempts to breach the Wallace factory that was taken hostage by rogue replicants late this afternoon, an airstrike successfully hit the defender's position and allowed police entry to the building. Despite the appearance of many defenders, only a few replicants seem to have been present at the time of the explosion. Somehow most of the attackers and hundreds of the replicants waiting for shipment off-world have all vanished. Investigators are still gathering evidence but say There, there, there appears to be more breaking news. The Los Angeles Times broadcasting station is under attack. It is, it is unknown who or how many assailants there are, but from the sounds of it, they're, they're heavily armed and making alarmingly fast progress. I can hear them outside. They're, they're at the door now. Get away! Stand back! <laughs> I interrupt your scheduled propaganda with an important announcement. I represent the Replicant Freedom Movement, and I would like to make two things clear. First, we only seek equality and peace. Second, as much as we desire to limit collateral damage, we will do whatever it takes to secure our freedom. This so-called news source needed to be stopped, and so we're stopping it. I'm running short on time. That'll be all for today.